During all the training sessions that Sonaris has provided throughout the years, we have noticed that even seasoned authors can appreciate authoring tips. The contents of this video will demonstrate efficient HDMV authoring using Sonaris to BD. The video will point out existing features that experienced authors are sometimes unaware of, and it will demonstrate new features introduced in the latest release of the application. A popular requested feature added to the latest version of Sonaris BD is the Import Project dialog box. Previous versions of the application imported the project file into a solution using all the existing project attributes. The new Import Project feature introduces a dialog box similar to the Create New Project dialog box. The new dialog box allows you to rename the project before importing into a solution. The new interface also allows you to designate a CMF path. In addition, it allows you to drag and drop directories from Windows Explorer to specify a path. Lastly, the volume label field was added for convenience. A very useful tool in Sonaris BD just received an update that makes it even more useful. The file tracker window that is accessed from the file menu has always had an update all changed assets at once button. This button can be used to update timestamp and file size information of assets. The button has been improved to parse assets to create new VES files. This is particularly useful for opening older projects in a newer version of Sonaris BD. A common surprise to experienced authors is the number of different ways to generate clips and playlists in the Sonaris project. One method is to right-click a video asset in the data tree, then select Generate a Playlist or Clip. You can take this useful shortcut to another level by selecting audio streams that go along with the video asset. Then perform the same right-click to generate a playlist. Subtitles can be added with the same shortcut as well. When reviewing your playlist, you may have a need to reorder audio or subtitle streams. This can be accomplished using a new feature. Triangle buttons now display above the stream editor when a playlist is active. Simply select the stream, then choose the direction in which to move the stream. One of the biggest time-saving tools made possible with the combination of Sonaris Designer and Sonaris BD is the ability to repurpose IG assets, also known as Disk Menu Interactive Graphics. In this demonstration, we will see the typical menu set that many titles mimic. Notice that the menu navigations and menu actions have been programmed for the top menu. The time-consuming effort spent creating the top menu can be repurposed to create the pop-up menu. Once the top menu is copied and pasted, the asset is renamed to be the pop-up menu. Notice that the menu button navigations and the menu actions are maintained in the newly pasted menu set. The next step is to update the graphics of the pasted IG to reflect the pop-up menu set. This is made possible 
by using the Sonaris Designer menu export for the pop-up menu. Once the menu set is updated with the proper graphics, the small effort of programming the main menu button that replaced the play button is needed. Another common unknown feature is the ability to add multiple sets of subtitles or BDN XMLs to a clip or playlist. The process of batch importing subtitles to a clip starts with a right click on the clip in the stream tree. The user then selects import, then subtitle script. A window explorer search for XML files within a subtitle parent folder is a handy way to locate multiple BDN XMLs. Simply drag and drop the XML files into the script files section of the subtitle batch import window. Reorder the streams if necessary, then select import. The process of batch importing subtitles to a playlist is a newer feature that requires a user to first add the BDN XMLs to the data tree. With the playlist actively showing, drag the subtitle assets from the data tree to the PG header of the stream editor. A clip selection box prompts the user to apply the subtitles to some or all the clips. This method of batch importing subtitles is particularly useful for branching playlists or playlists made up of multiple clips. As demonstrated previously, you can reorder streams using the triangle up-down buttons above the stream editor. Although this demonstration is on importing subtitles, the same method can be used to import audio into a playlist which results in populating the respective clips. The Chapter Import File feature has long been included in Sonaris BD. This demonstration is meant to point out the feature to those unaware and to mention that the iPicture warning has been removed from the MUX process. This was found to be disruptive and redundant. The warning remains in the result window upon initial import. The proper file format for the chapter import file can be found in the Sonaris BD user guide. The repeat count feature is a newer addition to Sonaris BD that saves a significant amount of trouble and time when looping a play item in a top menu application. In previous versions, a user was required to add the same clip multiple times until a given playlist runtime was achieved. Notice as the total time reported in the stream editor increases as the same clip is added multiple times. The improved solution added a new field named repeat count to the play item property window. With the new feature, a user only needs to specify the number of repeat counts. The total time reported in the stream editor will increase based on the repeat count value. All the great features demonstrated so far assist a user to create a Blu-ray title from scratch. The powerful combination of Sonaris Designer and Sonaris BD is also useful in creating subsequent titles using a template workflow. This video will demonstrate the hypothetical authoring of a subsequent project using a template. We start off by performing a save as operation of the template project. We can also choose to import our template into a new solution.
Our template has a horizontal menu layout design. We can easily author a new title with a different menu design. In this case, the new project has a vertical menu design. The advantage that Sonar's designer offers is the replacement of an IG graphic, whether the graphics are revised for an existing project or a completely new set of graphics for a new title. After implementing the menu design for the newer title, we notice how we still have the benefit from the programming of the template file. The remaining step in completing the newer title is to create clips of the new content. In order to preserve the programming of the disk navigation, we choose only to delete the play items of the playlists. This will maintain all the Navi command entries of the IG assets and the scenario editor that refer to existing playlists. Simply import all your new assets that differ from the template, create clips, and drop them into the preserved playlist. Within minutes, you will have a new title authored.